Hi guys, welcome back to Dubri's Day. It's TV OS 12 Gold Media. Let's get it downloaded and let's see all the new updates on it. Hi guys, hope you saw the Apple event earlier this week. Um, very interesting seeing a new Steve Jobs Theatre. Amazing view, uh, really, really good, uh, really good show. And obviously they announced the new iPhones on there, the iPhone XS, the iPhone XX Max, and the iPhone XR. God, they're all mouthfuls. Um, I wonder what the R stands for. If anybody knows, post it below. Um, TV OS 12. Gold Media, which is what we're going to be downloading and trying out in a moment, um, and obviously the new iWatch uh, Series 4, which was amazing with those edge bezels and whatnot. So absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm waiting to go and purchase my new iPhone XS, and I'll do a review on that just so you can see what the differences are from somebody you know in their hands. So I'm going to order that later today as soon as the store's up, um, and then hopefully get that next week. So expect a, a video to drop on that. Anyway. Back to tvOS 12, the Gold Media dropped yesterday, but unfortunately I was uh, playing some games with the family, much more important sometimes to have time with the family. Uh, I'm then going to go and download the Gold Media and we'll have a look. Let's go guys. So, usual stuff, um, we're on 64A, um, there's a new version, uh, let me just zoom in so you can see that. In fact, let me get rid of, oh look at that, isn't that pretty what you can do with a camera? Um, let's get rid of the uh, blurring there. Um, just zoom in so you can see the version. So down here, uh, 5364A, um, if we go software update, and you will see, there we go, uh, 16J6364, Gold Media. Right, let's do it. Download and install. You know the stuff, I'll fast forward this. Right, here we go. Um, first things first, let's go down and confirm the version that we're running on. So go down to settings as normal, go down to system. Let's have a quick look at what's in here. Software updates, make sure there's nothing on there. Right, 16J364. Now that is the gold master, gold media. Gold master is the right word, but I've called it gold media in the earlier in the video. So just double check there's no other updates. Nope, fully up to date. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump straight into those screen saves and see if they're updated. <clears throat> hmm, it's not looking positive, guys. Maybe they're not going to release those until the official release comes out on the 17th, which is next Monday. But they certainly don't appear to be on here at the moment. Um, I know it says it has to download updates, but I would have thought that the ISS screen servers have been here. But anyway, it's not there at the moment. We'll keep checking. Um, next thing to check, let's go through the settings on here. Let's do a bit of a more, more thorough view. So from general to start with, um, screen save is aerial. Um, download videos daily, that's all normal. Show during podcasts and music, that's all okay. Um, aerial photos, home showing. So it's just picking up from aerial. So there's nothing new there that I've seen from the previous betas. Um, appearance light, so you can change some of the background to be light or dark. Okay, go back. Um, sleep after 10 hours. Um, I like to leave my projector and my Apple TV running. Accessibility, you can do captioning, audio descriptions, voice of a Zoom, uh, display accommodations, blah, blah, blah. Come out of there. Restrictions, privacy, Siri, languages in the UK. Uh, previously used emails. This is all very standard, so there's nothing different in there. Accounts will be my accounts. Video and audio, 4K HDR. Um, as you can see, some 50 hertz at the moment. You can go SDR 50 hertz, you can go up to 60 hertz as well. Uh, it's dropped down to 50 hertz because I'm in the UK, and it's tried to match a projector with the screen, hence stop it sort of uh, flashing so much at the moment. Uh, come out of there. Uh, Chroma 420. Now, this is something which I haven't really covered before, but the check HDMI connection. Um, what that does is, uh, in one of my previous videos, which I'll do a link up the top here somewhere, um, the quality of your HDMI cable does actually make a real difference to using Apple TV and getting 4K video. 
By the way guys, while we're just waiting for that, thank you so much. We're over 450 subs now and it's still going up. Let's hit that magic 500 as soon as we can. I'd be so chuffed with that. Um, a lot of people are commenting as well on the videos. Really appreciate that. I'm trying to respond to every single comment that uh, people are passing me. Um, also today, we're going to have a look at Netflix. Apparently Netflix on this version has got 4K. So I'm going to jump into Netflix after I've done these few tests. Yeah, that's taken a long time. Maybe we found a bug. I'm gonna quit that for the moment because I'm not gonna sit here waiting for minutes and minutes and minutes when I know the HDMI cable works. So let's get out of there. Okay, um, calibrate, you can calibrate the width and, y, uh, width and height of your TV. Uh, signal audio output. So we're sending audio from the Apple TV to my amp then from uh, the amp to the speakers. Um, you only have one option on there. Uh, audio format, of course, we want it as Dolby Atmos. You can go back by changing the format down to 5.1 if you so wish. Um, reduce loud sounds, you could do that. You can reduce the navigation clicks. I actually like the navigation clicks on mine. Uh, sound effects and music is on. Audio mode is on. Audio language is default and sub-language is default. Airplay. Airplay is really cool. If you haven't seen Airplay on Apple TV, it's absolutely brilliant. If you're on your iPhone or your iPad, you can just Airplay straight away to the Apple TV and it demonstrates it onto, or presents it onto the screen. Allow access to the same network or nearby. Um, what's quite nice is the room setting on here. We have two Apple TVs, one upstairs, one downstairs. Um, depending on which room you're in, you may want to Airplay upstairs or downstairs and you get that choice. So we've got home cinema, which is where we are, and we've got the uh, lounge or TV room downstairs. Uh, remotes and devices, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, with, the, uh, with iOS 12, um, which will come out uh, in the next few days, you can use your iPhone to control um, your Apple TV. So I'm looking forward to testing that. Home service tracking medium, uh, home buttons, Apple TV app, remotes, uh, battery power, so we're full because we charged it up the other day. Um, Bluetooth, not much else on there at the moment. Uh, apps, have a quick look in there. Automatically update apps, I want that on. Automatically install apps is off. Uh, app settings, you can set some things in here about TV. Up next, BBC iPlayer. So these things are on the Apple uh, TV TV application. Uh, Prime Video, Clear Play History, CEO Tetris Manage, that's all standard. Music, as you know, you can play your music on the Apple TV. That's a really good, uh, really good service. I've subscribed to the Apple Music uh, uh, service and allows you to play music up here and it's just fantastic. You can search for any sort of music using Siri, that's really good. You can do a sound check which is good. iTunes films and programs, video resolution best available or better or good. So we take best available because obviously you want 4K, so we've got a 4K projector. Um, show films in wishes by day and sort programs by day. Computers, uh, you can repeat on computers. Not sure what that actually does. Podcast Earth View. It's just another app I've downloaded. So this is showing the apps that are on my uh, Apple TV. Networks, your network, system system, and sleep is sleep. That's it for there. Right, let's drop into Netflix um, and let's have a look. Say if the 4K is working on Netflix. Uh, sorry, the uh, Dolby Atmos is working on Netflix. We know the 4K works. So that's me watching. Um, let's find something that is appropriate. So. Uh, it says Dolby Vision Ultra 4K, so it says 5.1. I have already set this to Dolby Atmos. I'm just trying to find if there's any Dolby Atmos. Maybe a film will be Dolby Atmos. So let's find a, let's find a film. Comedies, use documentaries, action. So I'm hoping one of these films will be in Dolby Atmos. Doesn't look like it yet. Uh, Guardians? No. Hitman's Bodyguard? No. Oh, interesting. Some of these are not updating quite. Right. right, let's just punch up Valerian. Let's just see. It just says it's HD though, which is really interesting because it's meant to be 4K. So let's go to films. Um, let's have a look at mute. So it's Dolby Vision 5.1. Let's hit play. And I'll just check the amp and see if it is actually running in Dolby Atmos. Someone did post on the forum saying it's running uh, in Dolby Atmos, but I haven't found it yet. Maybe, 
Nope, it's definitely not in uh, Dolby Atmos at the moment. I'm just checking the amp as I'm talking to you guys. That's interesting. Maybe that's another bug. As you can see, it's frozen. So let's come out of there. Just try that once more. So Gold Masters are typically the ones that they drop just before the release. Now, at the moment, it seems a little bit buggy, if I'm being honest. Um, we've had uh, no ISS screensavers. We've had... Clearly, there's issues with Netflix at the moment. Ah, OK, now that's now working. Let's see if we can tell how audio it's in. It's 4K Dolby Vision, but it's nothing about the actual audio. I'm looking at the amp and it's not Dolby Atmos. So, guys, at the moment, from what I can see, um, somebody did post on the, did post on the, uh, on the YouTube channel that uh, Netflix has got the Dolby Atmos uh, running. Can you send me a ping with what film it's got it on it? Because from what I can see at the moment, it's not there. The final test we'll do <clears throat> is go into iTunes Movies and we'll find a 4K movie. Um, so let's go back to uh, my purchase films. We know Ready Player One works, but I'm just wondering if there's any others that are equally available. So let's just do recent purchases. Go into purchase films, recent purchases, go across. Let's try Jack Ryan in 4K and also Dolby Atmos. Good film, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Uh, Dolby Vision 4K. That's really interesting. Where has the, where's the Dolby Atmos or the audio gone off of some of these films? So a quick look here. They seem to have removed the details of the audio, which is really interesting. I'm gonna go and check Ready Play One in a second. See, there's no audio on that. I'm gonna drop out of here. I'm gonna to go to Ready Play One because that's our, our go-to film. Drop into here, go down to R. Okay, there's Ready Player One. And let's see if this says anything about the... Uh... See, that does say Dolby Atmos. Okay, so things to note at the moment. Uh, I think they're still updating the store. Bearing in mind it's released on Monday the 17th. Um, I think they're still updating the store with Dolby Atmos. So you can clearly see over here, it's a Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for Ready Player One. I'll just double check that that's still working. Make sure nothing's going untoward on our system here. Hit play. Yeah, that's playing. That's playing in Dolby Atmos. You can hear the difference straight away. Um, I won't want to get copyrighted on that, so I'm just going to stop that. So, uh, what have we found? We have found uh, screen is not on there on the Gold Media at the moment. We're going to leave the TV running to see if it's still going to download over the day. Um, someone said that Netflix is working with Dolby Atmos. I can't seem to find a video, a film working at the moment with that, so maybe that's going to drop later. Uh, we've been through some of the settings on here. Uh, on the Gold Master. Um, it's not much difference on there, to be honest with you. So overall, it's almost ready, but we did find a bug on the Check HDMI cable, um, and it also appears to be buggy on Netflix. So I just want to start out a film, the actual video didn't come down straight away. So something to keep an eye on. Uh, if I get any more updates between now and Monday, which is the 17th, when uh, it's formally released, I'll let you know. Um, I'll do a quick mini update if some of these things start working over the weekend. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching Dubris Day and I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya, bye.